Please stand and face the flag and recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What's up, Eastview? I'm Nikki. And I'm Anya. Stay tuned for the Word Intro, Bible Study members, and a special sports update. Senior athletes, the first NCAA national signing date of the year is coming up on Wednesday, November 11th. Any athletes who plan on signing national letters of intent for athletic aid at an NCAA Division I or II university during this early signing period and wish to participate in this ceremony should contact the athletic office as soon as possible. Thanks. There will be an Alpine Ski Interest meeting today at 7 p.m. in Lecture Room C350. Come meet the coaches, learn about the downhill ski program, and get information about upcoming team events. Think snow. Hey, ECU, we're getting ready for our next segment, The Word. This week, our topic is target day activity. Send it to us via Snapchat, Twitter, or uh, Instagram using that hashtag EVWord. So whether you're sleeping in, going to the Valley Diner, going to get Starbucks before class, or even in class with your target day teachers. Send us your best Instagram, Snapchats, or Twitter. And uh, don't forget to follow us on Twitter at EVForecast, on Snapchat at EVHSForecast, or on Instagram at EVHSForecast. And don't forget to use that hashtag EVWord. The second play for Patrick Hart screening is all set for Saturday, October 31st at Eastview High School. There are many openings available for all student athletes at EVHS who would like to go through the Hart screening. Sign up at www.playforpatrick.org. Hello Eastview, I'm here with two members of the Eastview Bible Study Group, Molina Stapp and uh, Josie Groves. So Molina, how is Bible study important? Bible study is important because um, when you're in a relationship with Jesus, it's important to study the Bible with your friends and get to eat donuts in the morning. That sounds wonderful. So Josie, what do you hope to accomplish this year? We hope to create a really safe environment where people can feel free to bring their friends and eat donuts and just study the Bible. Sounds good. So, Melina, how often do you meet and who can join? We meet every Thursday at 6.45 in the pack, and anybody, everybody can join. And Josie, what is your favorite Bible verse and why? Um, I really like James 2, 1, which is count it all joy, my brothers, when you face trials and temptations, because if you're going through hard times, God's just with you there. Sounds great. Thank you both, and now back to the anchors. All boys interested in joining the Spring and Dive should meet in classroom A209 for a short meeting today after school. Please see Coach Charleston if you cannot attend. All ninth grade boys interested in trying out for the Eastview basketball team, there will be informational meetings on Thursday before and after school in room C350. Congratulations to the doubles duo of Jordan and Taylor Coffer on making it to the state tournament for doubles tennis. They took down many tough opponents yesterday at the Baseline Tennis Center on the U of M campus. The state doubles tournament will start on Thursday, October 29th at 10 a.m. Good luck and congratulations to both sisters. Back to the anchors. Knowledge Bowl slash Quiz Bowl informational meeting will be on Wednesday, October 22nd after school in room C232. That's all we have for today. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at EVForecast. Be sure to tweet your target day activity using the hashtag EVWord. See you tomorrow, Eastview.